okay, just picture yourselves uh, as young black men. Mm. Do you feel that supposing you had challenges with your mental health or you felt something wasn't quite right, right in your mind, do you think that the blacks, black community would have solutions for you where to go for help or would give good advice? I just bury it in music, to be honest. Mm? Just bury it in music. Bury it in music. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Similar thing about yourself. Yeah, so to be honest, like if you have, I feel like me personally, if like I had an issue or whatever, like obviously I know where to go and whatnot. But it's like if you tell, it's not even just the black community, but like adults, like set adults in general, like you tell them you got something wrong, and you just get dismissed because mm-hmm. of like our age and whatnot. So then they don't really take you seriously until it's to the point where you're running around in the street screaming your head off. Do you get what I mean? Mm. So that early help doesn't happen. It's it's yeah. actually, like you said, very heavy music. So basically you better find something to distract you. Yeah. yeah. You better find something to distract you because there's no support here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but then, do you, but then would you say that there's people, in the, even without putting a, a tag on it, putting a label on it of saying mental health or counselling or therapy, would you say there are people in your community that you lean on as that support structure. Because I know, for example, for me, when I was growing up, without knowing it, it's only as, a, as an adult now when I look back, my barber in many ways is pretty much like a counsellor for me. Because mm. if I had a bad day at school and I'm getting a haircut, I'm chatting about how my day's been at school, or if I'm getting, I've am getting, i got stress at home, I'm, I'm arguing with my mum about whatever, then that's what, you know, that's what I find myself talking about. Before you know it, I feel better when I leave that barber's chair with a fresh haircut and I feel like I'm a little bit lighter. Mm. Would you say there's people in the community that you kind of do turn to in the same way? No? I guess. Like, if I have an argument with my mum, I usually just chat shit with my auntie. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. then anything else is usually my friends. Yeah. What do you think? Do you have anyone you turn to outside of the immediate family? Um, I don't really, like... I'm not really like argumentative person, so I don't really have arguments. Um, but if I have like an off day, then I speak to my. I usually tell my best friends about it. Um, I don't really, I don't really tell my mom or like my siblings or anything. Like so, with me, my best friend will know more about me than my than my brother will. Okay, so you kind of touched on it. Um, we'll come back to that in a minute in terms of things that you do to kind of take mind off it, but. What kind of things do you think as young black men impact on your on your mood and your feelings, your mental health? When mum comes in on violence. Yeah. <laughs> like you just be chilling in your room and your mum's had a bad day, she'll just come in on violence, she'll just come in and just be set it's to just off. disrupt like it's like <laughs> when, when, when you're chilling. angry, everybody's like when your mum's day's been bad, everybody's day has to be bad. Like you can't enjoy yourself. You can't have like a cup of tea, you can't just chill. Like, like, just lie down. You can't even have a nap. Like, you close your eyes for more than two seconds, you get screamed at. Like, no. Mm. Mm. You're you gonna touch on something, right? Like, like, what you say, when you're just chilling, your mom comes in, she touches. Beef. Yeah. What about you? Pretty much the same, but obviously I have siblings, so. Um, sibling beef as well. No, it's not even, not even have sibling beef, not anymore. But um, it's just, when, when your mom starts on them, and you did yeah. nothing wrong. So start a new yeah. I, 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 I saw a picture on Instagram. Like it was like all the kids were lined up facing the wall. Yeah. They, used, they even had the baby facing the, <laughs> the wall. I was like, that's life, isn't it? So the thing is that it's exactly it's like uh, somebody did something and the mum punished all of them because yeah. nobody would have owned up yeah. as to who did it. But then the funny thing is in that situation. You get punished for not telling who did it. Uh, then if you did tell, all of you would get punished again because you did that divide and conquer thing. Divide. Yeah. And then with my mum, she'll, she'll be mad at all of us. And then she'll phone her brother and tell him. And then he'll phone me. And I, I'm, I'm going, yeah. Yeah. 